Hey guys, Walper Games here, and today I'm going to show you something I get asked all the time when I'm painting. How do you apply liquid clear and how much is too much? Let me show you. Before we begin, let's actually talk about what liquid clear is. Liquid clear is one of the three Bob Ross liquid base coat essentials for the Bob Ross wet on wet technique. Like liquid white and black, it creates the necessary smooth and slippery surface. And additionally, liquid clear has the advantage of not diluting the intensity of other colors, especially the darks, which are super important in painting seascapes. Now, to be honest, I have never used liquid clear. I've never bought it, but if somebody out there would like to get it for me, I would really like to try it. What I use as a substitute and was actually cheaper is linseed oil, which achieves the same effect. Linseed oil has a lot of uses in painting, but today we're only gonna concentrate on what it's doing for the prepping part of the canvas, which is gonna allow all the colors to be slick and blend properly, just like they would with liquid black and liquid white. Now, if you can't find any liquid clear or linseed oil, there are other oils you can use. Some of those being safflower oil, poppy oil, hemp oil, sunflower oil, and walnut oil. To be fair, I have not tried any of these other oils and they may have some different effects that could be positive or negative for what you're trying, but they're just alternatives out there that you might want to give a shot. Now that we know all the different oils, including liquid clear, let's show you how to actually apply it to a canvas properly. For my paintings, I like to use linseed oil. It's nice and easy and affordable. I add a few drops to a paper plate, but any mixing palette will do. Take any old two inch brush and dip it into the oil. Make sure you get a nice even distribution and apply to the canvas in a nice zigzag motion. Do this gingerly across the canvas. You don't have to push hard. The idea is to just get a nice base coat and then we'll grind it in later to the canvas. Once you have all your coating across, go ahead and take your brush and actually push it very firmly into the canvas. We want to get that oil to cover the whole entire canvas in a nice coating and push it deep within that canvas paper. You'll see the oil start to glisten across the canvas. Once you have it all grinded in, just take your remaining brush strokes and go left to right all the way up and down the canvas. And then I like to go up and down all the way across the canvas as well, just to make sure that oil is all pushed in and across the sides, making sure that there is no spot missed. If you have too much oil, which is a common mistake for beginners, I recommend taking a regular paper towel, folding it up into a nice little square about the size of your hand, and glide it across the canvas. Don't push hard. By doing this extra step, we're going to pick up all the residual oil. Make sure you go left to right and up and down and cover the entire canvas with the paper towel. If you've tried black canvases before and your paint isn't flowing or isn't sticking, it's probably because you have too much oil. You'll want to definitely do this step until you get confident enough on just putting the right amount of oil in. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I hope that really helped you out. Just remember, this stuff goes a long way. Use it sparingly. If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a nice thumbs up and leave a comment below. There's also a couple videos over there to the side that may help you out with your painting journey as well. If you guys do like these videos, please let me know. You can also follow me on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, this YouTube channel, and Snapchat. I will see you guys all next time in the next video. Have a good one.